Hey Dan, it's author and linguist Michelle Franklin here, and I have a question for you with regard to your recent video on Satan. All right, let's see it. For reference, I studied the Tanakh in ancient Hebrew, Aramaic, and English for about 15 years. And as you well know, not one place mentions anything about Satan and goats. So my question to you is, when did the image of Satan become synonymous with goats? Does it have to do with Greco-Roman Judaism, like the writings of Baruch? Does it have to do with the cult of Pan? My general understanding is that this invention is quite late, probably 19th century, but where did it come from? As well, I always thought it was Baphomet that was associated with goats or goat image. Hey, thank you for a wonderful question. I do think this most likely comes from the late 19th, early 20th century, and I think the proximate cause is the imagery associated with Baphomet. So we have the Sabbatic goat connection with Baphomet on the part of Eliphaz Levi in the mid-19th century. By the end of the 19th century, we have this upside-down star superimposed on a goat head in Stanislaw du Guaita's uh, La Clé de la Magie Noire in, uh, I think, 1897. And you have two names that go around the goat's head, Samael and Lilith, and these are ancient Jewish figures, and Samael is connected with the head malevolent angel, uh, the destroyer or the tempter. And this is probably based on ancient Judaism's borrowing from the Anachic literature. And the New Testament also borrows from the Anachic literature this idea of a head malevolent angel who's identified in the New Testament as Satan. But in the Anarchic and other Greco-Roman period Jewish literature, this figure has a bunch of different names. They are Shemihaza, Azael, Azazel, uh, Melkirasha, Maste Ma, uh, the Angel of Darkness, Beliar. You have a bunch of different names, and they all get consolidated in the figure of Satan in the New Testament. So I think the association with Baphomet imagery and Samael and Lilith, and then with the tarot cards, you also have the sigil of Baphomet as it becomes known, linked with imagery of Satan and the devil. The devil is represented as a human with a goat's head. And then Satanism's adoption of the sigil of Baphomet, I think, uh, further helps that association with Satan. But I think there are a lot of roots that go back into the ancient world. You've identified some of them. Two others from the Bible that I would identify, uh, linking that name Azazel from the Anarchic literature with uh, Leviticus 16, the scapegoat is the English translation of the Hebrew Azazel. Uh, and this is that tradition from the Day of Atonement where the sins of the people are placed on the goat who's led out into the wilderness. And the Hebrew says for Azazel. And this probably anciently had to do with some kind of wilderness dwelling spirit uh, or deity of some kind. So there's that connection. And then we also have the connection of goats with evil and wickedness from the Gospel of Matthew, where uh, the goats and the sheep have to be separated out, and the sheep go on to eternal reward, and the goats do not. As the great poet once said, sheep go to heaven, goats go to hell. So I think we've got some things scattered around history that kind of facilitated the identification of evil and the devil with the goat symbol that had become associated with Baphomet. Uh, and probably by the mid 20th century, this symbolism is pretty secure in the public consciousness. But yeah, I think Baphomet is the original source of that association. And sorry, I don't have a cool fit. I just have some weird nerd stuff. Well, I'm quite envious of your weird nerd stuff, but my fit for this video has been Thunder Thunder, Thunder Thunder Cats Ho.